Welcome to E39 Source. We're in a place that you've never seen before. It's down in my basement. Colton Fry 2001 540s here. I have the 2005 Ryan Schultz behind the camera here. Uh, since he's just moved here, about half the stuff that was in his car are old car parts. So we thought it might be interesting to go through a lot of this stuff. Um, one, it may be interesting for some of you nerdy this car guys. The scenes. Yeah, really, behind the scenes. It may so be interesting lady. for some of you car guys to see exactly what we've been doing to our M5 and 540 for the last couple of years. One, and two, um, we want to get rid of some of this stuff. And some of it is actually good. Some of it has value. And we'd like to give the E39 Source viewers and subscribers first dibs on anything that they may want. So I'm going to throw the camera on a tripod here. This video may get a little bit long winded. I apologize. I hope you have time. And uh, we're going to try to go through anything that we think you may be interested in here. Um, if you are interested in anything, we probably won't talk prices here. Send us an email, colt at e39source.com or ryan at e39source.com. Either as, one of us. As we, we talk about them, it doesn't really matter because we're in the same location. But we will say uh, what parts these are and probably what car they came out of if you know. Right, yeah, we'll mention where they came from, what kind of condition, and as far as local pickup goes, we're in between Cleveland and Akron, Ohio, uh, we're willing to ship. So, we'll talk about that later, send us emails. Here we go. These are pre-facelift E39 M5 headlights, Xenon, however they do not come with ballast. On my car with the post-facelift lights, I did a headlight restoration. And through that headlight restoration video, which you can find on the source here, just look up uh, headlight restoration BMW, um, you can make these look probably 90% as good as they would have leaving the factory if you don't want to buy new lenses. However, uh, talking to Ryan, he did say all the adjusters worked correctly, and he also said that uh, they, they worked very well. So uh, let us know if you want to pay something for these. We're looking to uh, unload them. I have two taillights, non-OEM. I do not know a manufacturer for these. However, I can tell you they did work fine. Um, however, they do not come with bulbs um, or bulb holders, uh, but they do work for any 2001 plus E39. They are tinted on the top and for the reverse light right here. And they have four LED bars in here. They are indeed LED. Um, these are not halogen for the main taillights. The rear sway bar out of an E39 540i6, two sway bar brackets, however the bushings should be replaced uh, before the sway bar is installed. Sway bar is in good shape, um, this isn't rust, this is just dirt down here that can be cleaned off uh, with the proper amount of care <laughs> um, to clean it. I have not tried at all. Two front OEM 540i6 springs in very good condition. This is the center console that came out of Ryan's M5. Uh, this was the original center console, Titan line, obviously. This right here is pretty much trash, but up here it probably could be cleaned up a little bit. It could look all right. Um, it would we'll never look it. perfect. You could wrap that. You could also wrap this. You could use this as a base. Um, everything's intact down here. This functions. Let us know if anyone wants that as a project or if yours is worse or something. Let us know. I have the full trim set that came out of my 2001 540i6 minus the little cover that goes across the radio, the center finisher, and the center console. So this trim set is in okay condition. Um, I haven't put any effort into cleaning it up or making it look any better. There's some scratching in it and a few of the pieces do have cracks in them, but overall I give them probably like a 7 out of 10. Over here I have a trim piece. As you can see, it is a different finish. Out of a different set, this actually came on a door. It has a crack or two in it, um, also a little nick up here. If you want it, I'll throw it in with this set for free. This full trim set is Nas Bomb, and this is Vavona. General Module 3 came out of a E39 540. I believe it was a 2001 uh, six-speed. I bought this for my car, thinking I was going to stick it in. Auxiliary fan blade, E39 540, works for any E39. It's in good shape. Two BMW E39 bumper gaskets, sand beige slash tan dome lights. Passenger side front door tensioner spring. Four tan slash sand beige grab handles that came out of my 540. Most of these are in good shape, however the two rears do have a little bit of stress marks and um, I don't believe their spring tension works quite how it should, however they do function. Tan headliner home link cover. Tan slash sand beige vents for the dashboard. They do have a small crack up here, but they do uh, function and that could be glued to look almost perfect. Motion sensor inside a motion sensor cover. The motion sensor can come right out 
and replace uh, whatever motion sensor you have, no matter the color. Pre-facelift passenger side front door wiring harness. Passenger side front door black molding trim. Pre-facelift door handle bracket, metal, facelifts, or plastic can be used in either car. Sand beige visor lights. Here is a series of dice modules that I pulled out of my car. I really don't know what any of these wires do or how to connect any of this, but here they are. Uh, this one is I BMW DSP DL. You, you have all the info there, right? 1002. And then this one is this. I have no idea. They work together somehow. If you want them, let me know. BMW E39 hood latch, fully functioning. Full passenger side front chrome trim set in excellent condition. The MAF out of a 2001 540i6. This could be cleaned up. I never noticed issues with the MAF, but I replaced it because I was troubleshooting another problem I had with the vehicle. The OEM Valio FSU out of a 2001 540i6. No idea if this works or not. I had some issues with my blower motor when I replaced this, so I don't know if this is functioning or not. However, buy as is, it's cheap. The phone amp and module. Uh, I also have the wires for these somewhere laying around over there. Um, if you want this, let me know. I also have the brackets for them. So again, it's going cheap. That will also come with the antenna and wire. Over here, I have a ignition switch for a 2001 540i6. Uh, this ignition switch is fully functioning. This ignition switch will be going cheaply because I have no use for it. So go ahead, let me know if you want to send me a message about that. Out of my M5, I don't have nearly as many pieces. This is a navigation computer holding the Mark 1, the Mark 2, the Mark 3, the Mark 4. It doesn't matter. Uh, for, I believe, an E46 or an E39, uh, you can verify a part number right there. It's in great shape. Looking to get rid of that. I also have a navigation trimble. This was used with the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. This is out of my M5. Uh, works fine. It's in good shape. I'm just looking to get rid of it. So I have that as well. Uh, you can focus on that part number if you want it. On. Well, where's the top and where's the bottom? Bottom is below your knees, top's above your head. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Damn, that's a wide angle. You're looking at the camera. <laughs> Can they see me? Yes, easily. This ben. doesn't work. This is garbage. You are a pack rat. I want to keep these because they're f***ing battery drain thing. They piss me off. You're Carson throwing it out. No, I'm not. You're, you're, you're gonna take this to California. Yes, I will. And I'll hold this up and I'll say, "This is what held me up for four months of my ownership." No, it's a part yes. of the past. It's a and piece this is of going, shit. This is going to be in the bloopers. It's, God a, damn it's it. a piece of shit. No, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. This is a CD fifty-three. That's not even a BM fifty-three. Get rid. This this has no value to it. That button is the only value that this thing has to it. This thing has value. What is that? This. I don't have one of those. That, exactly, mine's better. Next, that 10 amp fuse has value. <laughs> no, I have five of them upstairs. Throw it, please throw Sir, it. Away. Why? You don't need it. You're 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 weighing your car down when you're going to drive this thing five days in a row. You're wasting time on the video. Throw it out. 